bouncing tennis ball and softball drill. If you have a hitter who's falling into their front foot, essentially they're just working on one speed at all times and they're not actually having any type of adjustability, we need to get them into their back hip a little bit more. One way to expose that and then also train that is by creating a bouncing tennis ball drill. Now, if I get on a knee behind a front toss net and I go and bounce it in, that'll probably be the easiest variation of the drill. I can make it a little bit harder and bounce in a baseball or a softball. That'll create a little bit of a faster spin. Or I can stand up, and this will be probably the most challenging variation. Now, if you really want to take things up a notch, if you really want to start to challenge the hitter's ability to not fall into their front foot but stay back as long as possible, what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of like a curveball spin on the ball. So as you're throwing into the bounce, you put the curveball spin on it, the ball will bounce, it'll bounce about here, and then it'll look like it's moving across the plate. So again, not only are you then working on making sure the hitter isn't falling into the front side, they're forcing themselves to stay back a little bit longer, you're now adding a movement challenging piece to this. Again, you can do this off of a true angle, off of a false angle. You can really challenge the hitter and have them work on their timing.